Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another clean with me video. You guys seemed to like this one last time so make sure if you enjoy these you give this video a thumbs up and you comment down below what your favorite part was or if this gave you any inspiration to tidy up your own house. Because I have a toddler at home I just feel like every day I can tidy and no matter what it looks the same so getting motivation to actually tidy it up knowing it's not going to last very long can be very hard so hopefully this guys help this helps you guys out if you guys have toddlers running around at home too So this day, my daughter really wanted to help me clean um, and for some reason she felt like being a pumpkin today. So she's going to be in um, the first part of this video, kind of helping me along here. Okay, that's good. What did I say? What did that? Mm-hmm. Now rub it up. I think we need to help them out with it. Okay, that's good. Not too much. Share how to straight I need to help them out. So you're going to see behind my daughter here, I'm going to show you a clip of these baskets. This was on my decluttering challenge list. So you guys will see the decluttering of this in next week's video. So for now, you just get the little before and after clip. Now this bathroom I would say my daughter uses it the most so it was in need of a scrub. She likes to spit her toothpaste all over the place in the morning and um, she is potty trained but obviously accidents still happen so this floor needed to be scrubbed. If you guys haven't tried this method tub and tile foam spray, I would highly recommend it. I started using it because I do cleaning at my sister's house and she has a big glass shower and I was having a hard time getting the hard water stains off of it. It was taking me so long. So I started using this and it is so easy. I absolutely love this spray. So go out, give it a try, let me know what you think. So normally when I clean the toilets, I do wear rubber gloves, 
but unfortunately when my fiance did laundry a couple days ago he threw my rubber gloves into the washing machine um, so I need to get some new ones now so I didn't have any this day um, but I did wash my hands very well after cleaning the toilet something about cleaning toilets just grosses me out This little mirror cleaning cloth I got from Canadian Tire. I think it's the Franks brand. And this thing is amazing. So if you find one of these at Canadian Tire, I would definitely suggest giving it a try. Like I had mentioned, my daughter has had a few accidents in this bathroom, so I really wanted to scrub around the toilet and it was really gross. I'm very glad that I got all that gunk and just nastiness out of there and my bathroom smells so much better now. So this area here is actually also on my list to declutter this week, um, but for this day I just wanted to try and make it look um, a little cleaner. We had so many coats that we don't use on the coat rack and just a bunch of stuff that didn't need to be in this space. So I just cleared that off um, and then later this week I am going to actually go into this closet and go through and declutter that portion itself. So as I mentioned, I was having a couple people over today. We had a play date, so I honestly didn't do the dishes. All I did was 
uh, kind of tidy them up, rinse them off, and just leave them in the sink. But I just wanted the counters to be cleared for, you know, the kind of look of the kitchen being clean. When I say we were having company coming over, um, it is just my sister, my niece, and then one of my girlfriends and her daughter. And in no way would they have cared at all if my house was clean or not. But it's just, like I mentioned before, my anxiety with my house being messy just goes crazy. So there's no way I could have enjoyed um, having them over if I had a messy house. like. It's definitely just me, it's not the company that's coming, um, but I feel so much better when people walk into my house and it doesn't look like a bomb went off. Um, and I know they're not judging me, it's just me judging me, if that makes any sense. And then, like I had mentioned, here is the top of my stairs. So up here I had um, some wedding stuff accumulated. I had some stuff that I've gone through to donate that just hasn't made it out yet. Um, I have two carpet cleaners, way too many plastic bags. I am gonna donate them to a store to use. And then obviously I had chairs that I just needed to take down and couldn't get down the stairs. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thank you guys for joining me and I hope you guys have a great day.